prosecution of gold prospects. It shows some over in Jackson as well. You can see how they just kind of stop when you get east of Bear Creek. And when you get west, uh, well, pretty much the county line over here, this is what's considered the Franciscan program. So we have 633 mines and prospects. You can see how they line up with the geology. If the green dots are the placer mines, the red dots are associated with massive sulfides, and the black dots are the other load mine. So there are places here where you'll have a bunch of load mines, and then the creeks go out across this ground that apparently doesn't contain much gold in the ground. All you guys will probably tell me different later, I'm sure. But, uh, you know, mainly, mainly placer deposits along the rivers to get through these, these voids, but they're still there. I haven't heard there was a placer down in here someplace west of town a couple miles. Um, it isn't on our map. So I took those sites and I, and I assigned them high potential. And any ground within 500 meters of those mine sites, I, I assigned high potential. So you end up that way with about 198 square miles. It's actually a little less than that because there are a fair number of duplicates in this database. <coughs> But just doing it in, that, in those rough terms, you end up with a couple hundred miles of prospective ground. Then I just kind of eyeball the concentrations of gold mines and assign those areas moderate potential. You can see that these, these match up pretty well with uh, some of the mining districts. Here's the Greenback. Uh, this would be Grants Pass and Lower Applegate, Walnut, Tilma, Josephine Creek. The, uh, those moderate, those areas of moderate potential, about 560 square miles. The green areas still have some potential, you see a few lines, 1,380 square miles. And the blue areas, there are just a couple lines out in here, and they've already been accounted for because we, we gave them a 500 meter circle in the high, high potential area. So there's all three. The high potential, the moderate potential, the low potential, and the close to no potential. And tellurium is something that's um, come up fairly recently, and, and it's got an interesting story, the way, we're, the way we've started looking at it. And, and it occurs with gold, so mine for it might pay for itself. It's reported from a bunch of mines around here, and it's likely more widespread than we know, because the tellurite look like fool's gold, they look like pyrite. This one, the silvery one in here, is called Calavera. Named for Calaveras County, California. <clears throat> so why the sudden interest? It's mainly because of this new use, this cal cadmium tellurized solar cell. It's been added to the list of strategic metals, and it adds value now to any mine where it occurs. And since it wasn't that valuable in the past, it may be present on the tailings piles and in the dumps. So the story with this is interesting because in the early 1990s, Mike Pope brought in some concentrates from the Jewett for, for Frank Lagke and I to look at, and Frank pulled out the reports and found the mention of tellurium. So Mike's been interested in that ever since, and he kind of pushes us to understand tellurium, and since that's supposed to be our job, we, we do a little bit. Um, then the cadmium tell telluride solar film thing went into production. They produced seven gigawatts of these these cadmium telluride tell solar panels. So in 2002, we applied for a USGS grant to study the distribution here and, and figure out which of these <coughs> terrains, which of these geologic models is, re is more likely to be responsible for where the tellurium is. And just lately, um, some, some Oregon State geologists, uh, John, Dr. John Dillis up there, and, and some of his students have have confirmed the presence of tellurium in, in those old uh, Jewett mine concentrates. So we don't have many localities in the database. There's about a dozen. But I, we've, we've just recently got all our mineral reports scanned, and we ran optical character recognition on the scans, and you can just tell the thing to do it and go to lunch and come back and it's done. So. Um, so we, we did that and then searched for the mineral names related to tellurium, and there's probably another couple dozen references in our reports to tellurium. Mike's probably found most of these by, 
by looking at the records, but uh, this now gives us a handy tool to look for anything in our reports because they're all they're all essentially a word document.